morning everyone, I hope you're all well. Today is Sunday the 10th of March and it's Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to any mums here in the UK. I know the dates vary from country to country and I don't know why. If you know why, you could let me know in the comments below. But in the UK today, it is Mother's Day. I will talk a bit more about that in a little while. But first of all, I have got news for you. Yes, you may have seen the short video that I put up on Friday because I was so excited. We had just found out we had won a prize and we never win anything. So I was so excited I had to put a short video up. Now I'm worried that you're all going to think, is that it? <laughs> because people have been like, oh, have you won your mortgage paid for a year or a new car or something like that? And I'm like, mm, no. <laughs> <laughs> but to be honest, to Jack, it's better than any of those prizes. So, let me tell you what it is. Now, bear with me, because it is related to Celtic Football Club. Jack and Abby are huge Celtic fans, as you may know. So, it's soccer, if you're not in the UK. Um, and they're season ticket holders, they go to all the games, blah, blah, blah. I haven't been able to go for oh, however many years since I've been in the wheelchair um, and I'm a jinx anyway so I don't normally get to go to the games or even watch them. If they're watching it on the telly I need to go into a different room because I'm a jinx. We always lose when I watch. Anyway, Jack plays the Celtic Pools and he's never won a cash prize. Abby has. Abby won a cash prize not long after they started playing which was really good. But every now and again, there's some competitions on the app that it's an extra £5 to enter, but there's not a lot of tickets. It tells you how many um, tickets. It tells you how many entries are available. Um, so it's much better odds than some of the other competitions that they do. So every now and again, hold on a wee second. Hades has the mask that I use for my resin. <laughs> every now and again, Jack plays these extra sort of raffle type things and he doesn't expect to win them he just sees it as a donation to the club it, the funds go towards like the development of younger players and that sort of thing so he got an email on friday to say congratulations you have won the celtic pools st patrick's party package and he was like wow yeah i've won something what is it and it turns out now, I know you're not all going to be Celtic fans, okay? I know you're maybe not even football fans. But if you take away the Celtic element of it, the football element of it, and just pay attention to what the prize is, because it's fantastic. So the prize is... Uh, we've got two tickets to the party night on the Friday night, which is the 15th. And that's in one of the function rooms in Celtic Football Club. In Celtic Park, sorry. And... There's a three-course meal and drinks and a DJ, which just sounds amazing. Then, after that, we go to the Radisson Red Hotel, where they have put us up for a night bed and breakfast. And that's worth a fair amount in, on its own. We've never been to that hotel. We've had a wee look on the website and it does look good. It looks lovely. Um, so, yeah, we've got a, a night stay there. And then the plan is... On the Saturday, we need to be back at Celtic Park for 12 o'clock, but they get a car to come to the hotel and pick you up. However, because we are going to have to drive right back home after it, there's no point in that because our car's going to be at the hotel anyway. So Jack said to them, look, don't worry about the car picking us up, which is a shame because that would have been good. It would have felt, made you feel quite like a VIP. Um, but the guy then said, all right, well, if you're sure... I'll organise you a pass so that you can park in the player's car park. And Jack's like, yes. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to be able to park in the player's car park rather than have to park a mile away from the, the grounds. So we're to be there for 12 o'clock to meet the, the guy that does the pools and to get photos taken and things like that for publicity. And then we go to the number seven lounge, which is the posh lounge in Celtic Park. We've been there a couple of times. Um, we took Abby for a tour on her birthday, oh, was it her 14th birthday maybe, 15th? I can't remember, but we had a meal in the number seven lounge after it and it is lovely, it's very posh. We've been in the, the number seven lounge a couple of times, but it really is nice. 
So we're to be there for 12 o'clock, even though the game doesn't start till three, because again, we get a three course meal and drinks, all inclusive drinks, which is a real shame that Jack has to drive home because he won't be able to partake in them. But I'm sure he'll make up for it on the Friday night. <laughs> So yeah, we get a nice three-course meal, we get to sit in comfort and um, it's hosted by Danny McGrain, who is one of the Celtic legends, who I don't really know an awful lot about, um, but Jack does and Jack's dad, he was like, my dad's going to be raging that we've got this and Danny McGrain's hosting it because Jack's dad just loves him. And then when it's time for kick-off, we get seats in the comfy seats that are right outside the number seven lounge. And it just sounds amazing. So Jack had phoned just to explain that I was in the wheelchair and, you know, would that be okay? Is there going to be access to the seats and everything? And the guy said, not a problem, that's fine. There's a wheelchair space just when you go outside the number seven lounge to the seats, there's a wheelchair space right there. It's like you can sit there or you can try and take the wheelchair down somewhere else and transfer into another seat. It's entirely up to you. I was like, yay. Um, so I am, we are both so looking forward to it. There are three sort of downsides, if you like. The first one is Abby. Abby was devastated when we told her because, like I said, she is the huge Celtic fan. She meets all the players. She goes to all the games. Even if Jack's working and can't go to the game, Abby will go with a friend. And yeah, she just goes to the games, she knows everything about Celtic, inside and out, all the players and all the rest of it. So she's devastated that she's not going. And to be honest, if it was just the Saturday, if it was just the, you know, going there, having the meal and going out, I would have given her it no problem. But the fact that it's a night away for me and Jack, plus it's a double room, so, you know, Dad and teenage daughter can't share a double bed. That's just not right. So, uh, yeah, I'm I'm quite upset for her. I have to say she was really, really upset and rightly so. But I hope that she can be pleased for us. That it's a nice night away because we never really get a night away. So it'll be good. Um, we've got the dogs and everything all sorted between my dad and Brooke and all the rest of it. So that's fine. But, so that's one downside. The other downside is got nothing to wear. <laughs> the Friday night, the St. Patrick's party night is smart casual, so that's fine. We've got, we're just going to have to make do with stuff that we've got, and that's, that's fine. Um, the Saturday is smart dress, so for Jack, shirt and tie, and for me, I've not got a clue. Help, what do I wear? It has to be warm, because even although we're, we're in this sort of nice comfy bit, it's still going to be chilly, we're still outside. Um, so, yeah, I think what we're going to do is on the Friday we can check into the hotel at three o'clock and I've got a hospital appointment in Glasgow or near Glasgow at nine in the morning anyway. So rather than going there and coming back, we're going to go to the hospital appointment and then go into Glasgow, do some shopping so that I can hopefully get something to wear and so that Jack can get new trousers and stuff. And, uh yeah, and then we can check into the hotel. So, but I mean, that's all it's going to cost us, really, because the rest of it's all paid. So we can't complain at that at all. I just hope I can get something suitable because, you know me, I never go out anywhere. I've not got anything smart. And the third downside of it is my diet. I have been so good on my diet. I was intending to be completely strict on my diet for at least the first 30 days, but... You can't look a gift horse in the mouth, can you? If it was just somewhere that we were going ourselves and we were paying for the meal, I would order something suitable for my diet. But this is already paid for and it's, I don't know if it's like a set meal or if you have a few choices, but I certainly can't turn around and say, I don't want that, I want this, this and this, because you just don't, do you? Um, so I'm going to relax for the Friday night and the Saturday but I'm going to be straight back on it again on the Sunday. Um, yeah, it'll set me back a couple of days, but do you know what? It's too good an opportunity to miss. I'm not going to say, I'm not doing it because of my diet. No, the whole point of this is that it's not a diet, it's a lifestyle. And these things are going to happen in life. 
and I don't have a problem with that. I just wish it wasn't within the first 30 days. Yes, that is our news. So even if you're not Celtic fans, take Celtic out of it. We're basically getting a three-course meal and a party night for free, a stay in a hotel, a course hotel with bed and breakfast for free, another three-course meal with drinks included for free, and then we get to watch the game. So it's an amazing price. We reckon it's probably, you can't buy it. It's, it's a money can't buy it. The party night on the Friday is completely sold out. It's a ticket-only event and it's completely sold out. And put it this way, we wouldn't have been able to afford the tickets. <laughs> so, yeah, it's definitely, it's worth probably about £600, £700. And when Jack was talking to the guy and saying about my, my wheelchair and um, that I've not been, been able to go to the game for over 10 years, the guy was like, oh, wow. So even he's excited for us as well. So, yeah, really good. And that'll be good for their publicity, I would imagine. Um, so yeah, that is our news. So it's this Friday coming and we are so excited. Even though it's a St. Patrick's weekend, it's not actually on St. Patrick's Day. But I have actually made myself some earrings and a necklace to wear to it. I'll show you them later on. And I made my first Etsy sale yesterday. How good is that? Woo! <laughs> it's not huge. It's a £3.50 key ring, but I don't care. It's a sale. And I don't recognise the name of the persons as one of my subscribers or regular commenters. But if it is somebody who watches my channel, thank you so much. Or just thank you in general to whoever it is for getting me my first sale. It's the little cocktail glass that I made in one of my videos here actually from BB Craft. Um, so yay, I'm going to get that all sent off to them tomorrow. And I've made a few other things as well. Um, because I was making things for Mother's Day, so I'm going to go, uh, my desk's like a tip, as always, but I was too excited, I had to tell you. So I'm going to go get that tidied up, and then I'll show you the things that I've made for my mum for Mother's Day. Oh yeah, what are we doing today? Not a lot. Brooke probably hasn't even remembered that it's Mother's Day. Abby did, um, and she was talking about going to football, but then remembered it's a cup game. So, and she's not got tickets for it, so I don't know if she's watching the, the game here or what's happening. Um, my mum, Granny Annie, will be coming in at some point to get her gifts, so you'll be able to say hello to Granny Annie and let her see them. You've not seen her for ages. And um, then, Brooke is going away to the cinema with my mum and dad. I'm like, hello, it's my mother's day. <laughs> but it's Granny's day as well, isn't it? So, yeah. And uh, they think they're going to see, oh, what's it called? Something Little, little Letters. I can't remember. You'll know what I mean. Serena, you've been to see it. I know you have. And you said it was really good. So they're going to that. Jack's working today, so I wasn't planning to do anything. Anyway, I'm going to stop havering just now. And I'll come back to you once everything's sorted and I'm ready to show you what I've got, Granny Annie. I'm back. Hello, Hades. Um, right, let me show you what I have made my mum for Mother's Day. Please excuse Clyde barking. Driving us all nuts this morning. I know Hades is even driving you nuts, isn't he? Um, right, so first of all, I'll show you the card. So I made, I made everything, by the way. I'm not buying or anything. I see you, Hades. I see you. Yes, I see you. Um, she would much rather have handmade things than bought. So the card says, I don't know if you can see that properly. Sip, sip, hurry. No. Sip, sip, rosé with the wine glasses. It's Mother's Day. <laughs> and I've just wrote a wee message inside with the same pen that was used on the front. I made this with the Cricut Joy. Then I made her, you may have seen in one of my Timu hauls, the... I'll show you. <laughs> this was one that I wasn't sure about the mould because of this and I thought it's all misshapen but it's meant to look like that and it's actually okay once it's made. So I made this with resin crate. If you can see there's some purple sparkle in there and there's the gold moon, the silver star and it says I love you and I have just got a little Yankee candle to put in there. Um, it doesn't really go but it was the only one I had lying about. <laughs> I don't tend to use candles like that so yeah. I had it lying about and I thought that'll do. She can put another one in if she wants. It was just to let her see that's what it is. The other thing I made her, again, you would have seen this mould from Timu, I think. Yeah. And it's a little 
hands holding pinkies, if you can see that. And I did put mum at the bottom, but it's hard to see because of the colour. Those letters were made from the little tiny resin mould that I got for the tiny letters. And the letter did slip slightly when I was making it. So it doesn't look overly uh, clear, but it does say mum. And I've got some diamond painting, spare diamond painting gels around the outside. And she loves purple, she loves bling, and that's both. Now, it's supposed to be a key ring. My mum isn't into big key rings. So what I've done is I've attached one of the, like, bag clips, zipper clips. So if she wants, she can put it into the inside of her bag. She can clip it into the inside of her bag in one of the zits. Or if she wants, I can just put a magnet on the back and it can be a magnet. But I thought I would put it like that just now, just to give her the choice. So yeah, I think that's turned out really cute. And the other thing that I'm going to give um, that I can't really show you just now until, in fact, you know what, I'm going to pause you just now because to show you the other thing, I need to put this in a little bag. So hold on. Right, this is the little angel that I got in my latest BB Craft haul. I'll link that for you if you've not seen it. And I just popped a little sticker on there that says... An angel to watch over you. And it took me ages to figure out how you were supposed to attach the right Clyde, the key ring to the card. And then so I went on the website and discovered that the little bags that come with it are what holds it on. So you put a little gift in the bag and then you can hold it on like that. Isn't that really cute? So I've got a little um key ring bag thing there and then her little angel because she loves purple. So she will absolutely love that. So that's what I got her for Mother's Day. What do you think? Hopefully she will be happy. I know she'll be happy with it. I could serve her a lump of coal on a plate and she would be happy with it. Um, but yeah, so that's what I've made my mum for Mother's Day. Let me show you the other things that I've made. Again, in my latest BB Craft haul, I got a little mould um, for Dash Hunt's little sausage dogs because Abby loves them. So, I made this because I'd left over resin from when I was making my mum's little heart thing and I put Molly on it. I don't know if you can see in this light. It says Molly and I've made it black and silver because Molly is black and silver. <laughs> so this is for Abby and it's... Oh, I've got a little bit there. Ooh. This is for Abby and it's supposed to be a key ring but... I don't think she would use it as a key ring, so I've popped magnets on the back and I will show you in a second what it looks like as a magnet. But do you know I think that's really cute? And while I was at it, I just made a couple of key rings from the other bits in the mould. So I made one with a little blue dangle and if you see the back, the back's really nice as well because you can still see the glitter. And I made the same one but with a, a little pinky purple dangle. Yay, so they'll probably go in my Etsy shop, um, but that is for Abby. And let me show you the earrings that I made for me for the party. So again, from a Timu haul, I got these little tiny four leaf clover charms and I thought they'll be perfect for making like St. Patrick's Day or Celtic things. So let me show you what I made. I've not got my glasses on. I can't see what way around it is. Not that it really matters. So there's that one and anyway, you get the idea. That's the earrings. <laughs> Basically just did the same idea as the earrings, but I joined them together. So I did the colours exactly the same, but they'll make quite a nice sort of dangle. You'll see them on Friday. Um, but yeah, I thought they turned out really quite nice. So that's what I've been making. I have got the tiniest, teensiest bits of resin left, bit of resin left, and um, that will hopefully be enough for me to make the crafting chat video on Wednesday. And then I'm getting more, hopefully Thursday or Friday, because I hate not having resin. But anyway, that's all my makes. That's what I've made my mum for Mother's Day. So I will come back when Granny Annie comes in to get her gifts and you can see what she thinks. Just quickly, I thought I would show you what Molly looks like as a magnet. You can't really see the letters very well. They're, they're sort of holographic. There you go. You can see it there. Yay! It looks like they're going uphill. They were straight, but I forgot that the body's slanty. So if I do that again, if I put 
uh, any sort of name on anything like that again I will do it in this, the line with the body because it looks squint <laughs> but yeah that is the Molly Mac here's Granny Annie no. they've not seen you for ages no oh 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 okay puppies oh. happy Mother's Day thank you that's not for you that's for oh uh, he can reach <laughs> that look <laughs> look at the dust Oh, don't worry about the candle. Yes, Um, You can, it was the only one that I had lying about, so. Oh, look at the colour. Yeah. Oh, the colours are beautiful. Yeah. That is absolutely stunning. Was I don't that. know, he just loves going through your legs. <laughs> <laughs> well, me, he goes under my chair, and with everybody else, he goes through the legs. <laughs> Isn't that weird? I know. Must just be a comfort thing, feeling close. Now this can be like a bag charm for inside your bag, you can connect it to a zip or I can make it a magnet because I know you don't like like big key dingy type things. It's beautiful. And it does say mum at the bottom, but the letter slipped a bit. Oh, <laughs> um, mm. You're mm, mm. not the, you are mm, um. All right, mm, um. <laughs> yes. <laughs> beautiful. That feels as light as a feather. It is light. I was expecting so, it to be. No, no, a it's just thin. So that's why I, I thought I'll put the wee attachment on it, and you could always attach it to an internal zip, yes, and then you're carrying like me around. It, like but isn't it. it so cute how the pinkies are? They're holding yeah. pinkies. Not just a pinky face. It's the colours are so wee. I know. That's why I did them. Yes. Homemade, of course. Oh. Sip, sip, rosé. It's Mother's <laughs> Day, I like it. <laughs> oh, I love fun babies. It's beautiful. Isn't that nice? Love it. But I can't get you in now, can I? What do you mean, sip, rosé? Sip. <laughs> that was a wee bit below the belt. Sorry, sorry. I made that before I realised you were starting the healthy lifestyle oh, with me. Look at that, look at that. Handmade the pot. Oh, that is for the candle. That is beautiful. And oh. I know it looks misshapen, but that's the shape that it's meant to be. <laughs> it's and just quirky. I, I like quirky. I know you like quirky. I definitely like quirky. Oh, I love the hat. So do you like them? Love. Good. Yeah. So have you got anything to chat to the viewers about yeah. before you go? Don't know, did you tell them? I didn't tell them about your mishap on the, the <laughs> therapy bed, if that's what you mean. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> you don't need to go into too much detail, no, but tell them no. what happened. Basically, I've got a uh, few aches and pains, and Sandy that I go to is absolutely brilliant. Look, look. <laughs> he's a remedial therapist. Was so that what he's known as? So anyway, he's going to put my clicky bit back in my back. So I'm on, lying on the bed. And, like, it was just, it's painful, but it's worth it. So he said, right, flip on your tummy. And the second he put his hand on my sword, but I screamed like a banshee and farted at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> and I, there was like, no, that it was <laughs> There was no disguise no. in it. No stopping no. it. <laughs> the nice thing he said, Anne, don't worry about it. He said, it happens all the time. I bet it doesn't. It was just making you feel better. <laughs> well, it was like instant. It was... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, dearie me. So you're going to the cinema? Going to the cinema. Uh, what is it you're going to see? Oh, Wicked Little Letters. Wicked I could not remember party. that first word, uh, but I did there. Yes. Excellent. So. We're going to do. So you're getting a granny's day with my daughter. I've not had a happy mother's day out of either of them. You're joking. No. I've not had a message. I've not had a happy mother's day. I've not had anything. Well, Brooke bro bro went to the cinema. Oh, did she? Yeah. With, for the few So Abby just came through with a gorgeous present for me. Yes. Sanctuary Spa. Yeah. So there's body lotion, body scrub. 
and body wash and show them what else. Yay! A stick! It's a big sign! Yes! Because <laughs> I did nervous. say, don't get me sweets. <laughs> Hi. Thank you. Well, it appears that I'm going to the cinema. That was a lovely surprise, eh, Brooke? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I've just quickly got changed. The cinema that um, is in Helensborough is a wee independent one called The Tower. And, uh, yes, oh. oh, it's very different to your massive, big, complex cinemas. Um, I'll show you when we get there. So it's wicked little letters we're going to see. Thanks. Um, cool. And there's a lot of snacks that you can't have. There is a lot of snacks that I can't have, but as soon as I knew I was going, I went and I made my dinner. I always have my main meal at lunchtime now, and then I have a snack later on. Um, so I had my dinner, I had my burgers, and I made halloumi fries, which were amazing. So I Did made extra. Any? What? Did they be any? Well, there's extra there, but they're cold now. And me and Gran are having them at the cinema. <laughs> um, yeah, Granny Annie is now starting on my healthy eating as well. So I made extra me fries and I'm going to take them to the cinema so that if we do get peckish, we've got something to snack on to stay on track. Hey, Hugo and Hades are playing right in front of me. Daft dogs. Um, so yeah, and I'm going to take a bottle of San Pellegrino with me, a little bottle of San Pe Pellegrino water so that uh, I'm not tempted by the fizzy juice either. They do alcohol there. They do alcohol there, yeah, I know, that's it. So yeah, I will catch up with you when we get there. <laughs> Stars come to shine when it's dark From so far away, show us where we are What makes the sun go to sleep every night And what's it dreaming of? I wonder Sometimes hides behind the clouds Maybe it's just like me A little bit scared of heights Why does the rain always keep on pouring down When it's grey outside It really makes me wonder For a great surprise, did you enjoy it? It was very sweary. <laughs> Just a bit. <laughs> really good film. Let's go. Really good film. I'm not heavy. Hey. <laughs> wow. Definitely a lot of swearing, but really. You hear even worse than that. I think Abby would really enjoy it, actually. See, because it's like a period thing, because it's like set years ago I didn't think I would like it but it was so good the uh, the whole story was good the, the laughs there were some really good laughs the acting was brilliant good cast as well I recognise a few of them yeah, yeah it was Olivia Coleman uh, Timothy Spall um, you're saying that as if I actually know I well you should <laughs> but anyway I'm going to put my phone away because it's wet but thank you Brooke that was a lovely Mother's Day surprise well good evening Everyone, it's about half past five. That's us back. I came straight in and got my jammies on because it's a horrible day out there. It's really wet and windy, and you know that kind of wetness that goes right through you. <laughs> the film was brilliant, and it was so good being at the Tower Cinema again because, as you'll probably know, it was before COVID the last time I was there. The last time I was actually at that cinema, Brooke pointed out to me, was when we went to see. Mamma Mia, here we go again. So that will show you how long ago it actually was. And it's all changed. Um, and it's a it was a different screen that we were in. And yeah, it's so nice being in a little independent. It's a community-led um, cinema. And they're always trying to raise money for it and stuff. But they've got like a little tuck shop type thing that they sell all sorts of popcorn and sweets and drinks and stuff. Um, I didn't actually get in there because it's quite tight and there was a lot of people around. Um, 
But yeah, it was really good. There was a bit of confusion because there was two wheelchairs and one wheelchair space. Brooke had booked the wheelchair space and the other lady had tried to book it and it wouldn't let her. Yeah, that means it's already been booked. <laughs> but apparently somebody had said, oh, just go, they'll fit you in. And they did. Basically, there was like sort of cinema seats and then down the front, there's two sofas. So they moved one of the sofas that wasn't being used and the wheelchair got in. So it was all good. It was fine. And then I noticed later they've got a heater in it and uh, I noticed later on they've got little blankets rolled up as well so that if you're chilly you can put a blanket on you which is really good. But yeah, it was so nice just being in a wee, not one of your big show-off cinemas. Really good. Anyway, the film was brilliant. Serena, you were right, it's a really good film. I didn't think it would be my thing because it's set sort of 1920s um, and I'm not into period type. Um, stories, drama type things, but we laughed from start to finish. It's hilarious. It's very rude. There's a lot of swearing. If you don't like that sort of thing, don't go see it. But it was really, really good. Highly recommend it. Anyway, now that that's me back, I think this might have been a long vlog, so I'm going to sign off for today. I am going to be vlogging again on Tuesday because I'm getting my hair cut. That was actually booked before we found out we had won the prize. But it's perfect timing, so I'll be getting that cut on Tuesday. Getting a fair bit off it, hopefully. Um, and I've even ordered some straighteners as well. I'm definitely, I feel like we're starting to go out more and I want to look a bit more presentable when we go out. So I've got my inside scruffy persona and a slightly more presentable persona when we go out. But uh, yeah, but anyway, I'll tell you more about that on Tuesday when I vlog. That will go up on Thursday. And then, of course, I'll be vlogging Friday and Saturday, which will go up on Monday for you. We are so excited about that prize. Anyway, I'm going to go. I will uh, sign off for just now. And I hope you've enjoyed this. If so, please do hit the thumbs up button. I hope you've all had a lovely Mother's Day as well, whatever you were doing. Um, subscribe if you haven't already, please, for more of our craziness and talk to me in the comments below and I'll see you in our next one. Thanks everyone. Bye!